Hey, how you doing? Justin here. Today we're doing a lesson or a review on something that you might not first think as being a super cool guitar gadget, but it's really making a big difference for me and I wanted to share it with you. So I've had lower back pain for a little while now, a couple of years. Um, I'm guessing it's kind of linked to guitar playing. You know, we're generally sitting with this bad posture, leaning forward, rounded shoulders, sometimes crooking our neck as well for quite a few hours at a time if, you do, if you're a professional mus musician especially. Um, and these days, a lot of us spend a lot of time on the computer as well, which again, you know, I'm, I'm definitely guilty of sitting in front of the TV with, with you know, slouching over like this on the sofa, uh, playing on the laptop, even though my missus is an osteopath and is always telling me off. I haven't been listening and now I'm paying the price. But... I'm researching how to make things a little better for myself uh, and I'd heard a lot about Pilates as being great for the back so I went and had a, a lesson with a Pilates instructor the other week uh, named Dee Harrington. Thank you very much for this little uh, gem of advice that I'm going to share with you guys now. Um, and basically when I sat down for the, having the little meeting with her to discuss what was going on, I sat down on the seat and she got this little pad out, stuck it under my bum. I'm like, oh wow. This is significantly better. It felt really comfortable straight away to sit down. So I ordered one immediately and I've had one for now a few days for practicing and it's really changing how I feel about practicing incredibly. Um, so I wanted to share it with you and I'm sitting on it right now. Seems to work on anything, even though like this particular seat, I'm sitting on a Barcelona chair, which is already a, kind of a, probably a bad one for your posture anyway. But this is it. It's called the Sissel, S-I-S-S-E-L, Sit Fit Plus. Okay, and it's basically a very thick rubber pad full of air. And uh, the idea is that when you're sitting on it, that uh, it stops you. Well, you can't slouch on it. You can, but as soon as you go to slouch on it, it feels really weird and uncomfortable, like you're going to fall over backwards. So it kind of forces you to sit upright already. Um, the idea, I think, of these two, like having the slightly flatter one, is that if you put that at the front, um, it gives you a little bit more support to your legs and makes it a bit easier to sit on. Whereas if you have it this way around with the round part at the front, it, it, it makes you, it, it enables it to wobble a bit more and makes you work harder to sit down. Um, so, I mean, that's the one I've been using, to be honest. But even on this, it just straight away, I feel so much better. It's, it, I've got full, like, even though I'm sitting, I can wobble from side to side, backwards to forwards. And it just, I can feel that while I'm playing and practicing that I'm, um, that little bit of movement is really, it makes it so much more comfortable to practice. And I'm sure it's going to be a lot better for my back because, you know, I'm not a, a physio or osteo or anything, but, uh, you know, I'm sh sure that it's the core muscles that are having to work to keep my, kind of keep my balance um, and keep me stable all the time. And it just feels so much nicer. You'd have to try it to believe it. And it, look, if you, if you've got serious back problems like slip discs or something like that, then please see a, a specialist first to make sure, because I'm not a doctor and I don't understand all of that, that stuff, so I don't want to hurt anyone. But I can't imagine this kind of tool being bad for anyone. And, and for any of you that do a lot, you know, long practice sessions or have a bad back, you do, you, it's just such a great little tool. It fits on, I use it on the, the dining room chairs at home, which are kind of like a solid wood chair. It even works on my, you know, my main uh, chair when I'm working is, is my, you know, an Eon. Um, and, and, and I put the, the pad on the, on the Eon chair as well. And it's just, it's so fantastically comfortable. Even like, I can't believe just sitting here doing this for you. Like I'm just, it's like, it feels so much better to practice. I, I'm, I kid you not. I've got no deal with these people at all, but you know, having lower back pain is a real drag you know and it, it, it's if I have a bad back spasm it can knock me out for a few days stuck in bed you know and, and I'm sure that it's a lot bigger than that and and I'm trying to incorporate you know some Pilates classes once a week and better stretching and stuff and not slouching you know in front of the in front of the television working on the computer like this you know it's just those things are you know especially as we all get older those things become more important and my advice as a slightly older <laughs> slightly older who am I kidding as an older dude now I'd advise you young whippersnappers out there to, to pay a bit of attention to this, you know, especially if you're serious about your guitar. Um, you don't want to get a, a, a really bad back. There are some um, really famous mega guitar players around that I know have back problems as well, you know, and, and I think it's just one of the kind of the hazards of the occupation, you know, if you're going to play, play guitar a lot. So um, do think about it. Um, I'll add some links below of some places that you might want to go and check it out to buy. Um, but really, um, you know, 
do do give some care to your back because we only get one and if it goes wrong it can go really wrong um, as i'm sure some of you already know but do yeah do check it out try it out for your practicing uh you know they're not expensive they seem to be around 30 pounds in the uk um but uh check it out it it, it could help you uh well, could save you a whole heap of pain. So I'll see you for plenty more guitar-related stuff again very soon. You take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.